Hey folks, Matt from artoftheimage.com, back with more on the Nikon D610. Today we've got some high one and high two uh, ISO shots uh, from the Thomas Taylor General Store display at the Beachville District Museum. This is a recreation of Thomas Taylor's General Store in Beachville, Ontario in the mid-1800s. So some kind of neat stuff here, old antique looking stuff. And um, these are all shot with the Nikon 24 to 85 millimeter F35 to 45 ED VR AFS. Quite a mouthful there. But that is the kit lens that comes with the, um, or one of the kit lenses you can get uh, with the Nikon D610. So these are basically all at, uh, with the exception of a couple, which I'll point out, at ISO 12,800 and ISO 25,600, high one and high two. This is uh, a wider angle shot showing the front um, counter of the general store with the cash register there, and that is at ISO 12,800. Next up, a close-up of the cash register, an old national. This is at ISO 25,600. And uh, still looking pretty good. I mean, there's grain there, but we're at high two. Uh, ISO 25,600 on the D10, uh, the D610. We've got uh, another shot with, uh, you know, kind of a mail storage rack here. I guess not exactly sure what they'd use this for, but this is at ISO 25,600, high two once again. And um, then we've got the uh, display case. Um, with some interesting antique glass bottles and other paraphernalia. Again, at high two, ISO 25,600. Other end of the display case. This is at ISO 6400 because we've got some window light here. We were able to dial down a bit, but uh, an amazing shot at ISO 6400, really, uh, as far as uh, detail retention and low noise. And... Um, then we're at ISO 3200 for this one because it's directly under the window to the side for the this bag of sugar and the bird feed here. Um, but still with the 24 to 85 millimeter, and that's at ISO 3200 on the D610. Another display case of some old toys. This is at ISO 12800. That's high one. And uh, again, uh, through the case, still... Pretty good detail and uh, pretty good noise characteristics at 12,800. Here we've got uh, a weigh scale and some uh, paper for packaging up sales um, here on uh, the D610 at uh, 12,800 here. That's high one. And uh, again, not bad. We've got some window light coming in, but um, this was at F48 at 1 1 25th of a second. Uh, good characteristics for high one for sure here. Another uh, looks like a weigh scale and uh, some other uh, press device there and some other things. Uh, interesting shot, some interesting antique stuff. Uh, oh, it says what we got here: a tobacco plug cutter. The sign says, which is kind of interesting. This cutter, the Master Mason tobacco plug cutter was used in J.C. Smith's store. It was manufactured by the Enterprise Manufacturing Company of Philadelphia. This shot is at ISO 12,800, high one on the Nikon D610. Another shot of some bottles in the display case. This is at ISO 6400. Another shot at ISO 6400. This has uh, some various artifacts as well including, uh, looks like an old coffee pot there, and again at ISO 6400. Another shot of the cash register from a different angle. Again, this one is at ISO 25600. That's high two, and uh, pretty impressive. I mean, there is noise showing there, but the detail is still good, and the noise is, is minimal for a high two shot. Uh, not bad at all. Another high two shot, ISO 25,600, uh, another uh, display case with uh, various items on it, and uh, details good, noise is good, uh, it's impressive, the D610 is uh, definitely a good performer at high ISO. Some shots uh, again at high ISO, 12, uh, 25,600 again, that's high two, and uh, some bowls and mortar and pestle there, some other instruments in the, the barrel. 
Uh, again, detail's pretty good. Noise is uh, fairly low for a shot at this high, this extreme in ISO at high two. Another shot at high two, and again, uh, good detail, fairly low noise for this high an ISO setting. A close-up of uh, some uh, clothes pegs, and basically, just wanted to demonstrate, this shot is at ISO 25,600, high two, and uh, we're still uh, got good detail retention here. Pretty decent. Uh, you could clean this up a lot more with some more aggressive uh, noise reduction in Adobe Lightroom here. But I didn't want to because I just wanted to show you what this camera is capable of, what the D610 can do at these extreme high SO settings. And last but not least here, we have a shot of Kirk's original Coco Hardware Castile. Uh, so that's a uh, interesting shot, ISO 25,600, some antique stuff, uh, and the last one in our series from Thomas Taylor's General Store from the mid-1800s in Beachville, Ontario. Overall, uh, D610 performing very well at high ISO, very impressed with the high ISO abilities of this full-frame FX camera from Nikon, and uh, looking forward to continuing on with more from the D610 and enjoying our time with it. That's all for the shots from Thomas Taylor's General Store, folks. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon with more from the Nikon D610, and uh, we'll also be back with more videos and articles to keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, videography, and technology right here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.